I, I think Lily and I are both very introspective people. We try to know ourselves um, and we share ourselves. We share that knowledge of ourselves with each other. Yeah. Do you think this is something that um, an introspective person is going to find naturally or f- be more comfortable with? I mean, I have spent a large chunk of my time with introspection. I've spent a lot of time physically by myself as well. So I have dissected every bit of myself (laughs) by now. I think that was one of the reasons why I got so interested in what this energy is capable of and and what's behind it. And I, I properly studied this energy and within my own body because it started to sensitize me to not just the physical things but the emotional things when um, when I bring in different emotions and it's not necessarily just joy and happiness you know sometimes just a bunch of sadness comes up or a bunch of anger and um, there is such a loving healthy container within my practice, within my orgasmic practice, that it really allows me to have a safe space to feel, to reflect. That, you know, if if I'm dealing with something in my life and I feel very insecure, I turn to the orgasmic energy to find a safe space where I get to explore myself, not just physically, but on a, on a mental and emotional level as well. And... Um, I mean, the sexual energy is the creative energy. It is the energy that gives us life itself. I believe there's nothing more powerful than merging. It can happen within you because we both have feminine and masculine traits. So even if you're not in a partnership, that energy is still circling in, in within you. But there is nothing more powerful than two beings, regardless of sexual orientation, gender, all that. Two beings coming together, creating a loving container that doesn't have to be fun all the time. Sometimes it's sad. Sometimes it's angry. Sometimes it's frustrated. But there is a solid ground of safety and security, emotional safety, and hopefully physical safety as well, where you just get to be you're most vulnerable. You get to be naked, not just physically. So I, I believe that it goes very well with introspection. Yeah, and I think that's why we enjoy also being naturist and yeah. would describe ourselves more as naturists because it is that um, just being okay with all of the uh, openness and being open to all the things. And when you walk around a, um, a, nudist, resort. a nudist resort or um, we have several clubs that we're involved in. And so some of the naturist uh, clubs that we have have beach areas. And, you know, when you're when you're in one of those locations and you're with all these different people, there is a vibe. There's a different yeah. um there's there's a feeling amongst everyone. A, I, I Yeah, I'll say there's a positive energy yeah. that you pick up on. And it's not sexual yeah. in the term, way that people would think about it, um, you know, somebody who's never experienced it, but it, you know, sure, maybe call it a positive sexual energy because everybody's nude, but there's not sex involved yeah. with it. It's, yeah. For me, I, I keep saying that I believe that on a global scale, we are so under intimate with each other that right. because our, usually our most intimate settings are sexual settings as well we have difficulty differentiating. So when somebody is getting more intimate, when they are just touchy or affectionate, we immediately jump to the conclusion that they want something sexually from us. Or we are restraining ourselves being more touchy or being more intimate, especially now in this climate, because we don't want to be misinterpreted or we are afraid of the backlash. And I believe that we are craving so much more intimacy in our lives just to be close emotionally, not necessarily physically, but have that feeling, have that very strong sensation 
that somebody really cares and completely non-judgmentally they are just seeing you for who you are and being naked is the best way for it but you don't have to be naked for it but it's 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 a very very lovely environment where people can when people can um, open up to each other especially Mm -hmm. if it involves nudity without sexuality or without sex because we we become a little bit like kids just playing around in the sand you know naked and it's fun we've had some of the the deepest conversations ever Mm -hmm. (laughs) sitting around naked with a group of friends and yeah and, and, you know, just on, on any topics, but I, w- I was curious what your thoughts would be on that. We've talked a lot about Western culture and just culture in general. Yeah. And I, I'm going to paraphrase this. Down. I feel like there's this attitude of putting notches on the bedpost. Yeah. If that makes sense. That, you know, and, and I see that growing. It's always been there for men, but I think it's growing for women as well. And to me, that kind of attitude eliminates intimacy and what you were talking about, the need to have togetherness because you're skipping the important parts. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, I'm, I'm very, very sad. And, you know, I come from the film industry, so I'm very sad about how we portray intimacy, relationships, sexuality in movies, not just porn. The porn industry has done its fair share, but even in family movies or romantic movies or even in more sexual R-rated movies, we don't see or very, very rarely see a good, healthy relationship. Most of the relationships are based on conflict. Most of the cultural norm is still towards we shouldn't be talking about this, sex is something icky or shameful. Even if we don't use the word shameful, we're just laughing about it. You know, it's it's like I can walk into any room and start shouting belly button or elbow, but if I walk into that room and start shouting clitoris, penis, anus, <laughs> I would be escorted out and asked never to return. Yeah, yeah. And it's just body parts. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's so true. It's so true with our, um, our our sense of prudishness or our uh, feeling that that things are shouldn't be talked about and and our um, I, I don't know. I'm searching for words. Yeah, just <laughs> just the sense that our our lower parts, like the entire lower half of your body, shouldn't exist. It's better off if you're just (laughs) in your head and please only do meditation, sitting in stillness and silence and do not use your sexual energy, your most vital energy to connect with spirituality or to connect with yourself. Please only use your mind. (laughs) (laughs) 